Hello everyone. My name is Brendan Kelly. I'm an acupuncturist and herbalist speaking to you from my home here in Vermont in the United States. And what I'd like to speak about is what I see as the direct and immediate connection between what's happening with COVID and what's happening with climate change. And I want to use the lens of Chinese medicine for this discussion because I think it's very well suited to, for us to be able to see the connection between what's happening in the world around us, both ecologically and socially, and what's happening within us internally. So Chinese medicine, in addition to being a natural medicine, it's also essentially a holographic medicine. It's a medicine that from its origin several thousand years ago has understood that what happens within us is mirrored in the world around us, and that what happens in the world around us is mirrored within us. So yin-yang theory is central to Chinese medicine. Yin is yin. Yin is cooling and cold. Yin is night and winter. Yin is latency. Yin is rest and relaxation. Yin is contraction, old and less. And looking at those last four issues of rest, contraction, old and less, we unfortunately don't value these things enough in the West. And that lack of valuing of yin, I believe is very much a part of the underlying issues that are creating climate change as well as what's making us susceptible to COVID. So along with yin, there is yang. Yang is fire. Yang is heat and warming. Yang is summer and day. Yang is expression. Yang is activity, expansion, new, and more. And again, looking at those last four issues of activity, expansion, new, and more, those are the things we're encouraged to value in the West. And too much of those things inherently create imbalance. And that imbalance is an excess of yang, and yang is warming. And as a result of that yang imbalance individually and collectively, it's not surprising that we are susceptible to inflammatory hot conditions like COVID. And when it reaches a large enough scale, it can reach the scale of the entire planet through climate change. So part of the issue now with climate change is that we continue to increase emissions. We continue to release greenhouse gases on an enormous scale that have a warming effect on the planet. So to look at this from a Chinese medical view, the yang of the planet is increasing. The warmth of the planet is increasing. And along with the warmth of the planet increasing, the coolant of the planet, the yin of the planet, is decreasing. And we can see this through deforestation. Forests and trees and plants by their nature have a cooling effect on the planet. They have a yin effect on the planet. So as forests are cut down, which unfortunately is continuing to happen on a massive scale, both here in the United States and globally, the planet's ability to cool itself is going down. So what this indicates is combination of emissions increasing and the cooling effects of the planet decreasing is that the yang is going up and the yin is going down. The warmth is going up and the cooling capacity of the planet is going down. And part of the result of this are things like fires. On the screen now is an actual picture of a fire that was happening here in the United States, here in the state of California in 2021. So as the planet warms and as the planet's ability to cool itself goes down, fires increase. And the intensity and the scale and duration of fires here in the United States and globally is increasing and is a byproduct of the planet warming and destabilizing. So an important question in my opinion is how did we get here? How did we arrive at this place of climate change? And I think Chinese medicine can be very instructive, allowing us to look at more of the root issues of how we've gotten to where we are. So economically, we're encouraged to believe that a healthy economy is inherently a growing economy. We're encouraged to believe that continuous growth is not only desirable, but that it is possible. And we're led to believe that the contraction of the economy is an inherently bad thing. All of this speaks to our excess orientation towards yang, because nothing can be in a balanced state that grows forever. Anything that is growing in a, in a, in a continuous state is inherently out of balance. Another example of our emphasis, our overemphasis on yang, is how we are encouraged to approach things medically. We're encouraged to believe that new procedures are better than old, new research is better than old research, new medical technology is better than old medical technology, 
and that new remedies are inherently better than old remedies. And as we will discuss shortly, it's very possible to use the old traditions of Chinese medicine, old herb formulas, and herbs that have been used for hundreds or quite literally thousands of years to treat a Chinese medicine understanding of COVID. So part of the issue now is that we are hot internally. We are hot individually. And this heat equates to the Chinese medical understanding of inflammation. And so with this personal inflammation, our society is hot and inflamed, and the planet is hot and inflamed. So we have personal heat, societal heat, and global heat. And the issue for us individually is when we have heat and inflammation internally, it makes us susceptible to hot inflammatory conditions like COVID. So what I'd like to discuss next is my experience treating COVID as a Chinese medical practitioner. And just to be clear about it, the way that I treat, the way we treat COVID at our clinic here in Vermont is by not treating COVID. We treat a Chinese medical understanding of COVID, which is a cold condition, a condition that starts outside of us as cold that transforms into heat. So on the screen now is a formula that we use and have used to treat a Chinese medicine understanding of COVID. It's called Minor Blue Green Dragon, Jiao Qing Long Tong, and it's specifically for when COVID or other viral infections reaches a stage where the condition has alternating chills and fever as part of the symptoms. And so there, the Chinese herbs are on the left-hand side and the Western equivalents are on the right-hand side. So this is just an example of one of the formulas we use to treat a Chinese medical understanding of COVID. And I think this is relevant because these herbs in many cases have been used for hundreds or even thousands of years. So we don't need to use a new remedy to treat the new virus that confronts us. So what's the remedy to COVID? What's the remedy to climate change? Well, in my opinion, it's to seek balance. Balance within us and balance collectively. And the, what climate change can be, what COVID can be is our wake up call, our encouragement to find balance in a culture and in a ecological environment that is out of balance. And if you'd like additional ideas and research about the connection between our well-being, well-being of our culture, and the well-being of the planet, you're most welcome to look at the book that I wrote called The Yin and Yang of Climate Crisis.